was just brilliant. Oh, but it was it was hard for us to watch. It was hard for us to watch anything. Bit of a neck ache after watching. Blood God, here we go. Fantastic. So I'm it's so happy be... to see him go Blood God. I've never seen this match before though. I mean, like, especially if Kotal's in the corner. If he's in the corner against uh, Grandmaster, although it's going to be difficult for him to get out of there, if he's got damage mitigation. The damage isn't going to be that substantial, nor is the fact that he heals himself. Who's down four is going to win? I was about to say, he jumped back. I wonder who's, who's down I, four I will get the first I would assume hit. that Kotal Khans would win, given that it's a six frame down four. However, Taco just wants to get out of it, but first hit goes to Madsen, already an Obsidian Totem on the stream. Now, here's going to be the pressure. I mean, you can armor that, but the question is, is it going to be worth armoring that for a little bit of damage? That grab pretty much always guarantees an Obsidian Totem, so Madsen's pretty much always going to go to that. You can, one of the things is, in the full screen game, Madsen can opt to go for a parry, just to oh, reflect wow, that ice read. Oh, drops it, only 9% damage, but does destroy the clone. There's that low profile Ooh, in down Interesting ant here. Oh, almost gets it. I don't think he was ready for that to connect. I don't, that think, damage I've, reduction. I don't think I've quite seen a, a Kotal Khan space these normals quite as well as Madsen. He's, the thing is, that's the thing though, he's, he's actually been hit quite a few times. Um, oh, I would absolutely guarantee that Kotal Khan's back one's going to punish that overhead every time. Madsen knows it too. Free damage reduction. And that reversal is going to do 10% damage for a bar. And he's just going to heal it straight back up and then some with his healing ray. Just like that. I mean, he's got the meter to burn. Building more bars with a sun disc. Gets hit, but again, he's, he's already regenerated more health. Air to air for 5%. And there's the... Re that is a really good environment interaction. Just interrupt that. But you can see, just alone, how many times Taco actually hit Madsen and how much damage he took. Like, it, it was barely nothing. I mean, one thing I can see Grandmaster having in the matchup is clones on block are going to be unpunishable by Kotal Khan. So if he can get a life lead, get Madsen behind a clone and keep him there, he's going to be okay. But if he's on the defensive, getting a life lead back against Bloodgood is going to be very difficult considering Sub-Zero can't shift oh, out full screen. That was a very crucial break. I mean, he had the damage totem up there. He has two <gasps> bars to work with. And there we go. There's the damage. I mean, it's only just disappeared. It disappeared mid-combo and he's still got 47% for a bar. And now Taco finds himself in a bad situation. Gets the, I think he gets the interrupt there. Doesn't quite bank on him getting the jump. And just like that, forward 1-2 is going to close out the round. Madsen taking game one with Blood God. It makes you think how much damage that conversion would have done had the uh, the damage totem stayed for the whole time. I mean, that's something you really have to consider when you're playing a character like Blood God is you have to micromanage a lot of stats. You have to think, well, I can get my health back. I can take less damage. I can regenerate health. I can get basically blood offerings that do no damage to me in the blood totem, which you don't really see Madsen do because it probably is the weakest of the three. Um, or I can buff my damage massively, or I can take less. Like you have to yeah. constantly think of these things and think, right, I've got a hit. Now I know where this combo is going to finish them, either in the corner, mid screen, whatever. Now, do I want to end that combo with more damage to follow up, or do I want to take less damage and then just lame them out? But this is the style of Blood God that I, I'm really happy that we see. I mean, we've seen the character evolve a little bit. Madsen has not, not been forefronting it. There are Blood Gods out there, you know, shouts to Mr. Aquaman as well. Uh, you know, players that also use Blood God. Um, but it's also the fact that it's been devised not into this damage dealing machine, but this character that you just can't kill. And that is, that is the kind of meta that Blood God has uh, evolved into. And it's proving to be so effective because you're so difficult to even take a round off. I mean, like, he manages to get the damage reduction, jumps in, gets hit, two hit combo, 1% damage. Like, he doesn't get hurt. Well, you hear us say a lot of the time that, you know, Obsidian Totem does give him a lot of more defensive options, but to be honest, more like most of the time, we see it just give him more aggression because it means he can take more risks and you can be punished. way more reckless when you've got damaged. I mean, that's it. Three hits, 22% damage. He gets good damage even without the totem up. So, oh, and he can reflect them. I didn't even know you could reflect the clone. That was fantastic stuff. stuff from Madsen. It's a shame he missed the uh, the combo after it because that would have done some serious damage. Oh, and there we go. That's exactly why uh, Madsen goes for the Jinsei Chamber because it does give him a corner escape in both variations. Uh, sorry, both sides of the screen. Not to mention armor as well. So uh, an armorless blood god. Oh, yes, armor. there's a jump back into damage. This is going to be the round for sure. Interesting choice to break from Taco. That uppercut would have taken it hands down. That would have been almost top five plays material. I mean, that complete amazing timing into the blood totem. But there we go, round one, Madden. But it's, these totems just put in so much work for Kurtle Khan. Absolutely unreal. But all these projectiles that Sub-Zero is chucking at him just doesn't, they're so slow, they're so easy to see coming and Sub-Zero doesn't really have much of a 13% damage for 10 hits. I mean, that's not good odds for you. That's not good odds, especially when you're fighting Blood God. But he has got him without the totem, so this one's gonna hurt into guaranteed clone. Here we go, this is gonna be what Taco thrives on, that corner clone. But the thing is, he has to be careful with his pressure now because he just knows that Madden has amazing pokes. Kurtle oh, Khan has him. A, a nine frame back one. I mean, you've got to be careful. I wonder if Madden's trying to stuff wake up clones because that's not really something we're seeing Tucker go to too often. Oh, tries to confirm, but not quite in time. 
Oh, tries to put him in the corner, but ever so slightly catches him a bit too low. Oh, and he gets tagged again. Must have thought Mazin was going to stagger that. Well, that's one good thing about the environment interactions that are pretty... Oh, oh wow. Ever so slightly mistimed. too late on that. Mistiming the parry. Eating an ice ball for his trouble. You still can't count him out, though. I mean, he might go damage mitigation here. Or he might just try and close out the round. If he gets one touch, this will be a dead sub-zero, though. Tucker's oh, you dead. know what? Oh, and he got the wrong one! No! The wrong ice! He got the wrong sun totem there. Catches Andy Cross up. No, he didn't block. And there's no stamina. Oh, why didn't he just uppercut? That would have killed him. Oh, and he oh, gets the oh, jump wow. back one. Madden clutching it out. I was so worried for him at the end because he got he went for the sun. We've actually seen him do that before in tournament where he gets the sun totem or the sun ray, but he doesn't cast it in the right bit. He lets go of the button too early and gets it in the wrong area. I was worried for him for a moment there. I, I, was, I, I was fearful that Madsen did just one, one down one too many in that combo at the end because that one extra down one he did instead of something else that may have worked, I don't know if a down two would have reached, but he just had to get rid of that last little chunk of damage. But one additional down one let Taco regenerate his stamina in time so he broke. Yeah, but let's, could have let's, also, let's not forget the fact that in that ending piece there, I really didn't think that Taco was going to give Madden that much room to work with. So not only give himself a damage reduction totem, but a sun ray. So I really think that right at the end, I think Taco gave him just a bit too much respect because all Madden needed or wanted in that situation was damage reduction and a sun, and a sun ray. Was space to regenerate. And Taco gave him that on a silver plate and let him start it. He can't really... That, what we've seen time and time again is the way you defeat Blood God is you don't let him get started. Almost like Summoner Quan. This character has a game plan, but it's entirely built around either the neutral situation or when they hit you. I mean, as you can see, there's now this neutral state. Madden sees the neutral ground and casts the damage reduction. You just need to be on him all the time. Oh, Madden, let's go a block. I don't think he thought Taco was going to follow up on that, but the Meteor Burn Ice Ball is completely safe, so Taco didn't really uh, put himself in too much risk there. Oh, oh no. no! That could have been a mistake. Must have been a mistake. That must have been a run in back 3 3 attempt, perhaps, but. Oh, this damage. Taco is. Taco oh, is. No! He's kind of tilting right now. That's a trade, but he's in the health. He's in the sun. That's doing nothing. Thank this could be what he's going to do. The totem's disappeared. He's got the corner. He's going to have to mix him the hell up here, but I don't think he'll get it in time. Just chip gets the back two. Madsen not even breaking. Oh wow! Decides to do it late, but there's the sunray. Oh wow! There's the parrying. Oh and my parrying. God! Madsen, ladies and gentlemen, the match brick point. wall. Total calm. Blood God. Brick wall. He's just ready for every projectile. He didn't even really take a trade, and every single one of those parries buffed his damage for a few seconds. Oh, this here we go. I think this character was made for Madden. I really think it was. I mean, he's got no meter, which means we might not see insane damage uh, off the meter burn shield. But, you know, well, I think... Oh, well, catch him jumping back. I mean, that's another thing. With the damage um, reduction to him up, he's going to jump for days. Because if you can't hit confirm him jumping away, he's just going to lose absolutely no damage. Like, tiny percentages. I think what I really love about this pick, though, from Madden is the fact that it was always seen that Grandmaster, like, destroyed War God, destroyed Sun God. All these uh, Kill Calm players that we saw um, in ESL Season 1, that would, whenever they fought a Grandmaster, they would really struggle to get in. Madden doesn't need to get in because he's got a sunray, he's got damage reduction. He's like, always got meter as well, have you noticed? Exactly, because that's the, the Obsidian Totem where you build meter on block, you know? And it's like Madden is forcing Taco to come in because all Madden's going to do, and that's going to hurt. Oh, he's wow, that's reverse. it. That's game over. That's it. Madden takes it. Swift 3 0. Damage I mean. Totem. It wasn't even like Taco played badly, it was just Madden caught him. Like, I think Madden just played that matchup perfectly. Like, what, what could Grandmaster do? He can't hurt him, he can't ice ball him, he can't zone him out. The clones do nothing. He's living proof of how important it is to explore other variations in the game. Early on in the game's lifespan, especially early on in the game's lifespan, everyone was like, if you want to pick Kill Khan, pick War God. The other two ain't no good. Don't yep. bother. But through experimentation, and granted, uh, Blood God was adjusted a little bit in the patch, but a lot of the fun